Hey y'all, welcome to the end of the NASCAR season and the end of the go-karting season. If you are lucky enough to be one of those parents who, like me, spend a lot of Saturday nights at a go-kart track, we were over in Chatsworth all the time, and Nick loved racing, and I loved him racing. I didn't like the nights that he wrecked, but that's part of being a parent. When you look at our children today, there are so many things that they need to have our support from. They need to know, hey, mom and dad can go out, we'll buy you a go-kart, we'll support you, we'll be there. We will show up for you because, you know, after all, parenting is a privilege. A lot of parents get so busy and so wrapped up in their lives, they forget that these children are a gift from God. And maybe they should be first in our lives and they should be all priority. And that's something that it takes a, it takes a lot to give. And um, that child deserves everything you can give them, whether they're trying out for a baseball team, maybe doing karate, anything that your child is interested in. It's important that we support them, and we support them in every avenue. When we look back at go-karting, some of the greatest drivers in NASCAR history started in karting. Jeff Gordon, Ryan Blaney, Jamie McMurray, Chandler Smith, one of our great local guys, Lake Speed, Chase Elliott, everybody knows the Elliott family, and Kevin Harvick, who actually stepped into the car number three after the loss of Dale Earnhardt. Now, nobody ever took Dale Earnhardt's place on the track and nobody ever will. But, um, you know, when you look at what it takes to successfully become a NASCAR driver, it takes, number one, a lot of time, a lot of energy, and often a lot of money. And just that break, just that one break. And we're gonna share a couple of interviews that I did with some little fellas. And they were little fellas when I did this interview. You now see Chandler Smith on the track often winning, or at least on the pole. This kid is amazing. He's a Jasper, Georgia young man who is um, absolutely, his family gave and gave and gave of their time, of their energy, and of themselves to make sure that their son could succeed. And so we're gonna share a couple of interviews and I hope you'll enjoy these. And remember, get involved in what your child likes, get involved in what's important to your child, and understand that that child truly is a blessing from the Lord.
color jet. Jamie ran up on his wheel and threw him over. Oh I did. Mike, I don't know. Mike, is the red strap over there?
Central Georgia with Chandler Smith, who has been racing quarter midgets for how long, Chandler? How long have you been racing? Well, I've been watching you for a couple of years. You started out with go-karts, didn't you? Did you win in go-karting? You did not. You won once, okay. Why did you move to quarter midgets? Do you like it better than go-karts? You had a bad wreck? Well, I've seen some bad wrecks in go-karts. It's scary, isn't it? Now, how old are you right now? Seven. Seven. And your family's from Jasper. Can we tell everybody who your mom is? Yeah, I know who your mom is. Who's mom? What's mom's name? A lot of people will know your mom. That's right. Lori McGee, right? From... Yes, you Do you still call her that? <laughs> well, let's talk about your family and racing. Your family's helped you a lot, haven't they? Uh, those two have to. <laughs> mom, mom and grandma are at every race. I always see your mom and your Not grandma. Every race. <laughs> almost every race. Not almost either. Well, are you going to be going to North Carolina next weekend? And what are you going to be racing there? Uh, uh, Corner Okay, what town are you going to be in? Do you know? But a lot of travel going on in your life right now? Yes, okay. Now, how many miles away from home have you been racing? I have no idea. Have you been to Florida? You have? Okay, that's a long way from home. Do y'all travel in a motor home or do you just get motel rooms? How do you handle that? Yeah, that's an easy way to do it, isn't it? Well, you won. Did you win your heat race today? All of them. You did? Well, good for you. And we're going to take a break right now and you're going to come back out on the track in just a little bit. You're going to win that one too? Absolutely. Now let's talk about safety issues. Did you wear a Hans device today when you raced? That's important, isn't it? Um, there was a wreck right before you raced, and that kid was hurt. Uh, not too bad. He came off the track a little bit banged up, a little bit beat up. Has your car ever been banged up and beat up? Not this one? Good. Good. Well, have you got anything you want to say to kids who may be out there wanting to encourage their parents to let them race? No? No? Just go for it? Okay. All right. Thanks, Chandler. We're in Gainesville, Georgia, and we just watched a couple of heat races, and the young man I'm talking to, Chase, did you win one of those races? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Now, are you used to winning? Not that much, but yeah. It feels good to win? Yes, yes it, it does, does feel good to win. Talk a little bit about how long you've been racing. Well, I've been racing for about two years, really, and so far it's been great good progress with the car. Okay, now you live in the Ball Grand area? Yes, I do. Where do you go to school? Elementary. Okay, what grade are you in? Uh, fourth grade. How many of your classmates race? Zero. Zero. So you are one in a thousand. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? And you'll go in on Monday one in a thousand as a winner. Do you expect to win the next race you're in this afternoon? I kind of do. Good. Good for you. Good positive attitude. Now let's talk a little bit about what it takes to race. I know your parents brought you here in your motorhome and your dog's with you, so it's a family affair, isn't it? Yes it, yes, it is. Okay. Who is responsible for making sure your car is in good condition to go out on the track? My dad, Billy Harper. And does he have anything to do with building it, or did you buy it like it is? I just bought it like it is. Okay. He's has some changes. Has he? How fast does your car go? About 35 to 40 miles per hour. Okay, and it's a quarter midget? Yes, it is. Okay, did you ever race go-karts? No, I haven't. No, okay. Why did you get interested in racing? Well... Really, I just got inspired by a book that I read, and I just wanted to start. Good. Now, do you like to read? A lot. Good for you. Good job. Now, we're going to stop this interview for just a second. We're going to bring Mom and Dad on, so hang on just a minute, okay? Thank you. Okay, Chase, I want you to introduce the people standing by you now. Who have we got on board? Mom, uh, Mom and Dad. Okay. Without Mom and Dad, could you race? No, I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Talk about what it's like as a family. Do you start getting ready on Thursday night? We do. Yeah, and, sometimes before then. And mom, you pack the motor home and you're, you're responsible for the food and the water and the drinks and clothes. the clean sheets and the clothes. And all dad has to do is sit in the recliner until time to load up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dad is four days getting the cars ready. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It really is a family affair. Now, dad, what does it take for you to get this kid ready to race? Well, I have to get his mind right first. Uh huh. Cars, positive attitude is important. Positive attitude. And then, as far as the cars, I go through the cars and make sure there's nothing been from races before and 
make sure the tires are in good shape and all the safety gear is in good shape. And then we come out there and practice on Thursdays or Fridays and see what the car's gonna do because the car's changed with weather conditions. Uh -huh. And then we go racing on Saturday. Let's talk about safety factors. I know he wears a Hans device. Yes, he does. It's, it's not a requirement in the sport, but you, the minimum you have to wear is a neck collar. Uh -huh. And um, but we have a Hans for him. They also make a Tucker that, that the monster truck people wear and everything. And they have to have a five-point safety harness strapped in, a fireproof suit arm restraints to keep the arms inside the car in case it rolls over or a car hits right. it or something. And then they also have to have a helmet and gloves. Now we just saw a rollover wreck and um, we had a motto when my son was racing, you never put a million dollar head in a five dollar helmet. Helmets That's are right. so important. Helmets That's are right. so important. Right. What kind of features do you have on his helmet that are exceptional? They're, they're all, they have to all meet the standards for uh, U-Site racing, mm -hmm. which they have a standard, and um, the impact and, and the fire resistance to them. And um, also with the fire suits, they have to be 3.2 CFI, so safety's the main thing. It is. Now, and we have to say, you're lucky because you're 45 minutes from home, basically. You're at a track very close to your home. That's a great. lot of kids race the southeast. Do you have visions of him doing that? Are you going to stick with close to home tracks? Uh, well, last year we ran North Carolina, Nashville, Huntsville, Alabama, and uh, over at uh, another local track coming, Georgia. So, so far you're five hours from home is your farthest it's track? Five, yes. been five hours. Okay. Now, uh, with the USAC racing series, they, they have a lot more tracks, I mean, for us, for our series. Like they have, we're going to a Disney World race. Uh -huh. And then they also, there's a USAC track down there, a Tampa track. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got just a few minutes. We're going to wrap this up. Chase, is there anything you'd like to tell your parents about how, um, are you thankful that they help you as much as they do? Yes, I am. Yeah. You couldn't do it without them. You couldn't do it without them. Now, do they have this, do you have to keep your grades up in order to race? Uh, I've never gotten a lot of that's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Mom, who's in charge here? If he came in with bad grades, would you say we're not racing this weekend? Absolutely. Good. It's never been a problem. So it gives him an incentive? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, um, he, he seems like he's an altogether very positive kid, and, and I think that's the attitude NASCAR is looking for. They want kids who have the whole package, and um, they have to understand that this is not, it's not easy for y'all. Now, let's talk about cost. If you put a dollar figure on what you spend a year in racing, could you do that? Oh, uh, your your biggest expense is when you first when you first get started. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you build a little bit at a time. Right. Um, you know, you start out. We start out with a car that costs seventeen hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and then he had a growth spurt and outgrew it, and we ran it for a first six months, then we bought another car. Okay. So, are we up to ten thousand dollars yet? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it is a commitment the parents make, and it's important that the children understand how important it is for them to keep their end of the deal up. Because with mom and dad not footing the bill, wouldn't happen. I don't see any sponsors on your car. That means mom and dad are responsible for all That's the bills, correct. huh? We would love. To We'd have love sponsors. to have a sponsor. Yes. Yes, you but, would. Uh, yes, you would. But we haven't went out and you know pursued. Yeah. Economy is exactly. Too. Well, maybe um, soon the economy will turn around and somebody will be willing to sponsor people. Yes, ma'am. And with the, you know, with us switching over to USAC Racing, they're affiliated with Hoosier. Mm -hmm. And that's a big cause. I see Hoosier Tires coming on. Yeah, yeah, maybe Hoosier Tires would give you some tires. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be awesome. Would Wouldn't be. that be awesome? It would be. Very awesome. But they, um, but running the Hoosier Tires last year, we ran a different uh, make of tire. And you could only run them two races, mm -hmm. and they were done. Right. And um, with the Hoosier tires, we're looking to run six to eight races. That's great. On, That's great. And, and the cost is the same. I see a purple Hoosier shirt in his future. What do you say? Uh, yeah, I definitely. So. Definitely. We yeah. The, now listen, Sasha. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Side, so. That's right. Well, um, he seems like he is really together, and I hope he keeps his positive attitude because that goes a long way with everything in life. Um, Chase, it was nice meeting you. I look forward to you winning today's race, and then we'll have you on the show when y'all get back. You're going to Florida for spring break, is that right? Yes. Yes. Well, when you get home, uh, call us and let's have him back on. Let's have him on the show live one morning. Okay. Thank you very Great. much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, y'all got to see a couple of guys who love going go-karting, and, and one of them, you know what Chandler Smith's accomplished. He's an amazing young driver in NASCAR now, and Chase and his family moved to Florida, and I'm not sure what he's doing now, but I hope this will encourage you to support your children, help your children, whether they want to play football, if they want to be the greatest quarterback ever, or if they want to just get out in the yard and, and throw some balls or, or do some hoops, whatever they want to do, please think about what a great gift they are to us in today's world we are looking around and we are seeing violence and things happen that our children um, sadly have to face and we need to be there we need to be those parents that look back and say thank you lord for all your blessings and these beautiful children y'all have a great day